As a musician, hear it, breathe into exactly that, the same way that you never think about breathing when you're speaking, even when you're really angry and you really want to be loud, or you've got a whole bunch of stuff to get off your chest before your breath runs out. You never think about the breath. You only think about what you're going to say. This is what singing is all about. This is the real essence of technique that you learn in singing. So that everything you do on stage is second nature, technically. I'm not interested in spending a lot of time on engineering here. I want you to enjoy the world of architecture and the language of music. Opera is a musical art form. Every breath we take is given to us by the composer. Not the producer, not the librettist the composer. In the 19th century, why the art form was so spectacularly popular is because the heroes of the day were those people that could write music that articulated something that was either way beyond what they thought or exactly where they lived as people. And they were the mythological heroes of that age. We've moved off of that. But inventing something theatrically without inhabiting the language of music will never bring us to the essence of opera.
It is a musical language. This is what all I'm trying to get with your voice, is that you enjoy that musical language for this piece that spins the voice and lets you be alone in a rather melancholy way, remembering something that was unbearably precious to you that you will never have. It's big, wonderful stuff. Let's just sing that phrase. Hear exactly how you want to sing it and breathe into that and sing it. Fault is CNN, right? We don't need that. Right? You can do it. Yeah. Just stay in you, stay still, and don't touch the piano ever. <laughs> if the building goes in a flood, the piano is the worst thing to be next to. You're good. <clears throat> You're doing great. Okay, stop. Now, was that comfortable? No. Then do it again. You did it better the first time. And it's not so loud, right? This is not a firing squad. When you say it in the context of the aria, this was actually quite a bit softer. Now we're working and you feel like you want to work on your voice. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm try I want you to find that middle mezzo piano sort of hi hybrid sound, you know? Sure. Yeah. It's got the lightness and that dark at the same time. You have a wonderful dark center to your voice and you have a brilliant top and it's terrific. But you also have this yeah, yeah, hmm, as a baritone. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. We use that mercilessly. Maybe let's go back to, let's go back, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. And don't think about the consonants. Your German is fine. I'm going to change a couple ideas for you, but don't worry about it. Your German is fine. Don't think about your German. Think about vowel to vowel to vowel. Instead of mine, bicycle, mine, popsicle, mine, pencil, mine, suit, mine. It's musical language, and you've got that. Do that. Stand still. Very good. Good. Inhale. That's interesting. Do you feel that when you take a breath, you go like that? Do you feel that settle down? Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you go like this. Mm -hmm. Those two things hold and block. Yeah. You don't want to do that. And I know what I know. Why I'm getting on you technically is because I know what you want to sing. You're not singing. And I would like to. I would like to have a phrase that we could say. That's where you want to build. And then I will have had some use to you today. One more time. Ah, what I want to say is, when you take your breath, I always. I, I always feel like the first phrase I sing, and actually quite a few phrases, I, mm. that I keep inhaling. Mm. Instead of ma, I think ma, like an upbow. Papers are rustling from afar. You don't, need, you don't need that much breath. And maybe a little more in your nose. Okay. Feel that air, not here the nose, but just behind the nose. In this la 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 space. La la la. Can you do that? La la la. La la la. La 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 la. La 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 la. That's exactly where you want to be. Higher, more, more air. No more. Okay. 
Okay, this is the, the first little correction is, yeah. is that the, 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 is what we call the schwa. It's sort of a neutral vowel at the end of German words. Tanz, z. When you say it, when you speak it, it becomes very neutral. It becomes very n. When we sing it, we don't accent it, but we let it be the same vowel. Not tanze, and not tanzi, and not tan, unless that is the word, but it's not ever going to be. <laughs> tanze. 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 You sing it, but it's just easy, right? And it's an uh sound, which is kind of cool because the uh sound of a schwa is that on the IPA, is that, is that uh, cowboy hat, uh, which is curious enough the top of every voice. And if you look at the asp of a cathedral, right, that's exactly what it is, that cupola. That's where the top of it is. So it's nice to say, it stays up in it, You don't want to do that, right? Just keep it on the line. You'll be fine. Exactly that. Yeah. Maybe backwards when you think about it. Was this easier? Yeah. Yeah, it should be easier. If you don't feel better having sung it than before you sang it, one, why sing it? And two, you're probably on the wrong track. Singing is a release. Okay? One more time. If you could just get ma, ze in the same resonance, let the a ah become the a. Ma, ze. Now, here's where you get a little bit of trouble, and that's the mixed vowels. Mm -hmm. The mixed vowels, all of you, German mixed vowels are built first and foremost from the primary vowel. In the case of the U, it is the U, which is very long and very round and very full. And we sing all of that fullness through the E aperture, and we get an E, not an E. That's got no O in it. That's just got nasal shit. <laughs> You're better airing on the O side than the E side. No. Yeah, if you just keep the lift in it, you'll be fine. Now just sing that through the E. The yeah, but you're singing two different vowels. Mix them. Keep the U position and sing the E in it. Almost. Forget the R. Is it, you need to work on this, mm -hmm. but the problem is that when you, when you modulate to the E, you actually change into the E. Mm -hmm. And what I need is for you to keep the O position of the resonance. So there you go. There you go. One more time. So, es räumt sich zurück. Or whatever it is. Räumt sich zurück. Yeah, yeah. Hear it. Exactly what you want us to hear, breathe into that. And stay in your feet on the ground. Attaboy. Subito piano, it's, it's tough as hell, I know that. It, it should be a subito piano. Once you, you guys really need to go back and look at Korngold. He's very clear about what bars have that dotted half and the other has the quarter, right? And that's not just a mechanical tool. It's because you, if you don't follow that path 
at this slow tempo, we won't actually hear the waltz mm. that we hear as a theme through the whole piece, but especially now as a, as an, as a, as a, as a remembrance, right? Is this getting easier? Yeah. Can we now go to That's the big high phrase, the second time. And keep on going into the soft bit. And just exploit that resonance. That one. Did you hear it and breathe into that? You're too smart and too quick. Be stupid. Be slow, be dumb, be, oh my God, where is that? Stay still. One more time. Breathe with that phrase. Breathe. Exactly there. Keep it, feed it, feed it, feed it. Vertical, vertical, vertical. Same place. Now, same place, just less noise. One more time, one more time, just that note. Hear it, breathe into it, exactly what you want us to hear. You can do it. That was a perfect mixed vowel. Bravo. Good work. Bravo.